A beef over taxes helped spark the American War of Independence. Now new battle lines could form over another tax deal, one that lets Pennsylvania residents work at well-paying jobs here in New Jersey without paying New Jersey's high income tax rates, which can top 8%. Instead, they pay Pennsylvania's flat 3.07% income tax. That's unfair, say some on the Jersey side of the Delaware. Time for a change. They should be paying if they're working here. Paying here, you know? Here? Yeah. They'd probably be paying more. Yeah, well, we pay more. Well, I think they should pay taxes in New Jersey, too. Why should we have to pay for them? So essentially, you feel like you're subsidizing them? Yeah. Former New Jersey Treasurer Andrew Seidemann Aristoff estimated New Jersey could reap a $180 million income tax windfall if it withdraws from the 38-year-old income tax reciprocity deal with Pennsylvania, calling it the mother of all South Jersey sacred cows, but adding, we need the money, and withdrawal is fair to the vast majority of New Jersey taxpayers. Paul Heffernan disagrees. That wouldn't be good because Pennsylvania's got a lower rate. Heffernan estimates he saved maybe a quarter million bucks over 30 years by working at a Princeton pharmaceutical company, but living and paying income tax in Pennsylvania. So what do you say to people who say, well, you know, you got a pretty sweet deal since you're paying lower taxes in Pennsylvania? I tell them to move here. <laughs> to move <laughs> to yeah, Pennsylvania? Yeah, yeah, because even real estate taxes and property tax and, you know, income taxes are lower. My whole family left the state mm -hmm. and we, we, we lived there since uh, 76. Trevor Roberts also lives in Pennsylvania and still works as a consultant in New Jersey. What would happen if you had to pay tax rates in Jersey? I would leave New Jersey completely. I would take my business out of New Jersey and, and move elsewhere. But look, the reciprocity tax deal cuts both ways. It actually benefits thousands of low to middle income South Jersey residents who work across the river in Pennsylvania. That's because New Jersey's income tax is on a sliding scale that starts at a low 1.4%. And South Jersey lawmakers like Lou Greenwald take a dim view of Governor Christie's recent executive order directing the state treasurer to determine the specific steps that would be necessary to withdraw the state of New Jersey from the reciprocal personal income tax agreement and shall prepare an estimate of the effects such a withdrawal would have on New Jersey's revenue collections. Trevor Roberts' advice, don't tread on me. Leave it alone. Leave the taxpayers alone. Now, lawmakers often revolt rather than raise taxes for their constituents. But Governor Christie doesn't need legislative approval to end reciprocity. He can do it by executive order. In Lambertville, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.